Oh, you, oh, you know that other Eddie? I bet so, you, Eddie, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. They coming out with new episodes in 2019. Yeah. I don't even know what the fuck I wanna drive. I'ma drive this shit just cause. Peggy Sue. Oh, you know what? You got the gold one? Sit right there. Shooting up your vote. Earlier. Tomorrow to address tax charges. As as I'm coming out now. Back out. Okay. The networks are down. The equipment is ready. We've crippled their supplies. Mrs. Rackman has written our check and given us the green light. We're good to finally move on that submarine and stop this threat once and for all. When you're ready, get your crew together and head back to planning. How about this fucking controller? Well, one of the new explosions also said oh, no, no, I don't need it. Feed into the air. Residents in that area were ordered to stay inside or wear masks. Officials are keeping an eye on the lava as it moves towards the ocean. When hot lava comes in contact with the ocean, it creates a steam pool of black particles. What we doing? What we going? Who? who? Virginia. This is the rain. Somebody, we join in somebody's shit. He in. I guess he in his. We've seen how aggressive the water has been running. It's at flood stage right now. It pushed us off the water. Well, at some points, water surged over riverside fences right. and pathways. Nearby roadways are also closed. An absolutely beautiful day today after that long stretch of rain. She's been here all the day. It's green. And here with an update on her forecast. Nobody was complaining today. Oh, no, is he running to his car? Yeah, I think he's going to his car. It won't let me send it to him.
Oh my god. I don't know. This car alright, but I don't like dropping it like that. No, no, no. By him already being in his um, by him already, yeah, he got to come out of it. Because of that as well. I mean, he would have just been very proud, and I was, we were very proud of him. Cameron says she and her family will try to keep up public appearances to continue her husband. Yeah, it won't even let me invite him into here. People have been reaching out to me from all over, and everyone has such a wonderful, kind word to say about him. And it really makes us very proud. In Coffinsville, Paul Gessler, Fox 45. Okay. A woman is killed when a car plows through a restaurant who police say was behind the wheel. Who is she, yo? Al Gore speaks to the University of Maryland, the message to graduates. Motion for an investigation why the president wants the Justice Department to look into the FBI. Office of Tourism is a proud sponsor of Fox 45 mm -hmm. Two bulls for fun. Man hit the truck. I can feel the bar bars just digging in the pain. I'm gonna buy supplies for right now and we're gonna go to the bunker and do missions. Chevy Silverado, the most dependable, longest lasting, full size pickups on the road. Start your school with 0% financing for 72 months plus $2,000 cash allowance on most Silverado 1500 LT pickups when you finance with GM Financial. See your Baltimore area Chevy dealers. More speed, better entertainment, bigger value. Introducing new Xfinity packages designed just for you and for savings. Faster internet included. Included and save even more by adding Xfinity Mobile. It's more of what you want. All for a value that's simple, easy, awesome. See which new package is right for you. Click, call, or visit an Xfinity store today. Oh, why? I know, I know, I know. I just sent it to him. I'm gonna return this vehicle to storage and call my other one out. You call and listen wheels? I'm Johnny on the spot. I'll hook you up. Oh, I want this out. I'll get there as soon as I can. Should have called my other joint out, but that would have been like a little bit too too fast. That shit sounds a little bit out of control for my ass. Alright, there we go. Off to the bunk. 
Oh, hold on. I'm about to. So, matter of fact, I'm going to open this party. So, we're going to be talking about cars today. If you were building the perfect car, which three features here would you choose? One, black, dark, safety. You've got to think about the baby. Alright. We good? Oh, yeah. What you call, Eddie? I gotta make sure my view is adjusted just right. There we go. Close, close. Hi. You ready, Eddie?
Yeah, well, Mr. Secretary of State and Presidential Candidate Hillary Clinton spoke ah. at Yale's graduation today. She poked fun at herself with jokes about the 2016 presidential election. Clinton also oh, brought an over-the-top hat, a Yale tradition. Now, I see, looking out at you, that you are following the tradition of over-the-top hats. So, I want to have Weekend, national talk show host Tom Joyner delivered the keynote address at Morgan State University, and Sedman Graham spoke to graduates at Coppin State University. Now, he was actually invited to the royal wedding, but he chose to speak at the commencement instead of going to the royal wedding with Oprah. Well, that wedding is over, but marks the beginning of another royal tradition where Meghan Markle's bouquet is being held. Water-sized hail in the Midwest, the damage caused by severe thunderstorms. And it looks like as we go through the overnight, we'll see mild temperatures as we get into the late overnight. Right around 3 a.m., about 63 degrees. 6 a.m. for your early risers, about 60. And then we're going to see those temperatures go up nicely as we get more sunshine to kick off the work week. But there will be more rain to talk about in my seven day. And then the sun makes a comeback. I'll tell you all about that coming up next. Black Squad. Yeah. Is your group, are you the leader of your group? Yeah. Yeah. Um, is it a jar hard group? Huh? Is your group a jar hard group? Me meaning? No, I am. You guys are like, are you like, you don't, you don't know what jar hard is? Mm, not really. Alright, so basically a jar is someone who's really good at the someone who's really good at um a work. A jar is basically someone who's really good at the game. Like they can kill they can kill anybody, I they they use no like they use their own computer to hold the high like higher work and shit and use it against other people. Yeah, that's it. Well usually in my crew, I mean we, we got a we got we got good players in our crew and shit. We got some low rank players in our crew. I I take anybody in because uh, I I I help build people. I help people, yeah, and I I, I and I I help my 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 players get money per mission, like a million dollars per mission. So so. The what? Do you know how to do the high school? Yeah, yeah, that's what I do. That's how that's how I pay my uh, that's how I pay my crew members. Yeah. So I make sure they 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 stay with money and they stay on their feet. Yeah, me, and my ally team. And I do. And I also do my car glitches. So this didn't this oh yeah all my bunker work and all that other shit that's just like little just shit just to do free time and shit i don't really be fucking with my bunker at all like this yeah i mean shit and then i i i also we also be doing death matches and shit too because i create death matches and races yeah. Because like, like it's cool doing it in a regular session, but I would rather do it in a deathmatch. Cause one, you get paid for it, and two, you ain't got to worry about no police fucking with you. But well, you also gotta make sure you got money for us for ammo. Yeah. That's yeah. And then as soon as you run out, you gotta run back to the spray shop and shit. At least you could pick up ammo with guns and shit like that, and shit like that or whatever. And then one thing I noticed, and then one thing I noticed, if you doing a death match, if you ain't got, if you got a gun that got no bullets in there at all, and someone kill you while you got that gun in your hand, as soon as you respond, it, it automatically puts ammo in your gun. Fountain shot lava high into the air, spattering over newly formed mounds. And it's like the more times you die with that gun, the more ammo goes in that gun for some reason. I don't know why they do it that way, but that's what they do.
Gentlemen, we expect you to discuss the new partnerships for flood warning systems. Yeah, we know how to get cars. That that one I have I have never. Wait, no, I they had an old one that was like from a couple months ago. That was that facility one. The yeah. last one I did, yeah, I did cause I yeah, cause I got a couple garages full of full of allergies and shit already. Um, but yeah, the last one I remember doing was the, is the you guys you guys use the doomsday high shit. For the for the last glitch that I that I had. Left up. Um, I think we're starting to see some breaks from all the rain we had with uh, beautiful sunshine today. But, 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 but shit, at, at, after we do this mission, if we can get a few people together and shit, we can get a good little death match going. Eddie already know I got a whole shit of death matches I created. Death matches and races. No, I, I was saying after we do this little mission right here, if if we can get some people together, we can get a good death match going. Yeah, hell yeah, sure, we can do that. I got, cause, cause, like, like I said, Eddie, no, I got a whole bunch of death matches I created, like, like two, three pages full of them, as well as races. Yeah, because, yeah. Because cause I've been making death matches on here since uh, since PlayStation 3. So once I transferred everything over, all I did was go back into it and just update some of the old ones, and then I was making new ones. Yeah. And then up towards Elfin, slightly cooler at 15 degrees. We'll see these sectors slowly go down. Shit, I, well, well, my shit, I'm not, because it's crazy, because a lot of people sometimes when I jump in sessions, they think I'm a modder for some fucking reason. But I'm like, no, nah, I, oh, yeah. I, I knew a modder. I knew a modder from PlayStation 3. That was my man's and shit, because he stayed giving me money. He gave me every fucking thing. My friend, he's a, my friend jumped with me, and that's how I got this one. Yeah, but last time I saw my model was last time I saw my model was back on fucking PlayStation 3 and shit cuz I'm guessing since he probably got the four they probably caught his shit cuz I, I had another account that he had modded up for me and he had super modded that bitch kind so after like a week or two being on on a four with it, they they just reset my whole fucking character back to one. They never did it with this one. Yeah, no, no, not not this account I'm on now. On my other one. Basically, I mean I could still get online, but my character's back to one. Like I gotta start over back from rank one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Because the crazy part about it is he never had a mic. <laughs> so he would just always join the session that I was always in. And he just always would like drop me money bags and shit back then. Yeah. Then he and yo, he had some crazy shit. He had a fucking he had a fucking monster truck with a tank body on it with the with the tank cannon on it. <laughs> Uh -huh. Yeah. He's not main hacker. So basically, he got all his hacker stuff from his father's stuff, right? Right. So, so basically, he wasted it. I'm going to go to a get a jump with the PS3. So, get a, it has a big cover of PS2 on there. And a uh, 2M on the PS2 on the PS3, right? So basically, I'm trying, right? So basically, the way my kind of got banned, because he put, to make sure he had anti ban on the double of PS3. So basically, his money account, I mean, his money that allowed me to have anti ban. So my account would never be short, like, box of 
when they would see my name, they'd be like, oh, like Mark or Wow. And so basically my friend, he just wanted my number to be 120. Just in case, uh -huh. but he said, like, hey, like, you didn't want me to be 8,000? Yeah. Because uh, I might get banned easily too. And also, uh, he, he didn't give me the duffel bag the top of I got the duffel bag the glitch. It was like an outfit glitch. I went on PS3, but once I got on here, that duffel bag turned to a fucking uh, parachute. <laughs> I said, I had a duffel bag on my PS3 character, but by the time I got on here, somehow that shit just turned to a fucking parachute. Oh yeah, by the time I got on here, I ain't had a duffel bag no more. But I, but I still had all my money and shit that he that I that, that he gave me. I was in a billion somewhere. I was, but but I I immediately started buying like hella cars and shit, so I wouldn't have too too much in my fucking account and shit. So so that brought that down tremendously. Yeah. And then what I did was, um, while I was doing them glitches, I started doing it with all my other cars, cause I, cause even though I know I can't sell the copy of the one that I uh, duplicate as far as my other cars but I could sell the one that I bought so I would duplicate that car and just sell back the one that I bought and just keep the duplicate one because cause I, I know I ain't going to sell it anyway um, Wipe out. <laughs> Somebody else coming in the chopper. Alright, chopper down. Eddie, eliminate that last rival over by you. Cause I know it's going to send us somewhere else to probably go pick up this shit. This shit. Oh, oh alright, they over here. Oh alright, yeah, it's one by you, Eddie. Matter of fact, and somebody, yeah, one of y'all can come get this other one, cause I got a feeling it's gonna be some enemies. So, so, yeah. So I could protect y'all. So we, just so we won't get it confused, uh, Eddie, big money, Eddie, you gonna be double D from that one. <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> Oh, just, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. so that way, me. right, so, yeah, I'll, that way I won't say Eddie, both of y'all be like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Man, big money, Eddie, got, is got double John. D. I got <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's more over here. He got that one. So I'm gonna have to maneuver back and forth between both of y'all probably. Yeah. 
I'm coming. Oh, you got enemies? Yes. Oh, I see him. That bitch, that first move flew right past his ass. All right, go get that other one. I gotta protect him in the meanwhile. Is it me, Frank, or Oh, yeah. oh shit, yeah, I caught him. <laughs> he was on it. I, I, I'm gonna go back and check on Double D right fast.
about to airlift you right in this cargo box. Yeah, let him airlift you in the cargo box. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
Coming down. Eddie. <laughs> I just dropped him. What happened? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he made it. <laughs> now I'm about to jump out of this shit. Already. I got you. Oh yeah, I forgot. That wasn't a fucking... Freshman Bubba Fairman, how he picked up the game. Last where week, the loss isn't exactly a hotbed in Utah. For now. And our play of the week, Mookie Betts is also good with the glove. Kevin Flower crashes into the wall and fake out the catcher. Find out who's number one will return in two minutes. You can join if you want. I'm about to do some death matches. Oh shit, no, I'm going this way. Oh, shit. at the waypoint oh, oh I can do that Thank you. 
Oh, you know what? I know why. Hold on. Let me. See. I gotta start my secure server. Up. You got the waypoint? I don't know why I don't ever pop up on yours. I thought it did when I said it. I'm going to my vehicle warehouse. Ooh! 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 <laughs> Ooh! 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 Oh no, you was good. You it was just super close to my door. I couldn't get out. Say he was going to be back on here. You hear me? Eddie. Eddie. What the fuck? Yo, I cannot hear shit. Hell no. Hell no. That shit was mad fucking in my eardrum. <laughs> Hell yeah. They had finally dried out. That'll do it for this edition of Sports Unlimited. For more good I'm Bruce Cunningham. Thanks for watching. Stay dry and have a great night. Stay high and have a good flight. The following program is a paid commercial, which has been paid for by the advertiser whose products and or services are featured in this program. This is a paid program brought to you by the International Fellowship of Christians and Jews. Presenting the plight facing God's chosen people today so that you can be a blessing to them through your prayers and Christian love. What's that?
being a believer, believe in God, He will never abandon you. What these Holocaust survivors endured in their lifetime is beyond words. We are now talking about a crisis, an emergency crisis to keep these elderly Jews alive. I can really show you the situation. Alright people, let's get this over the line. Follow me. The is for no damage. We don't Get need to the fire light They are going to come good. dumping on us. It's right over here. Come on, get all the way in here. All the way in. Oh, shit, never mind. You ain't even got five. You ain't got five. Huh? I'm gonna hit their ass before they get close to us. Cause that's just the first set. And they both coming down here. Good. Set number three. And the last set.
seven years old when the Nazis entered her village. She was a little girl and she remembered hiding from them so they would not capture and shoot her. We were little girls playing outside. My friend Marusa, so I tell her, let's run. They will shoot us. So although we were little girls, we understood that Nazis will kill us. And now when she's 82 years old, there's another war to be afraid of. Another war which consequences are very harsh for her. May your country never know more. It will get killed. I think not just of the evil, not just of the darkness that is in the world, but I think of the light. I think of the good people in America, in Canada, Christians, Jews alike, who care. <clears throat> Parachute. Make some holes. You gotta be kidding me, right? Oh my god.
Oh shit. He's just dropping. shot.